We're in Backup Exec 15, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade. We're currently backing up from a Backup Exec 2010 installation done earlier. So let's go ahead and double-click on our download and just make sure that it's mounted. And we're on a 2012 R2 server. So we're going to choose the browser uh, option, which is the third one from the bottom. And it's going to ask you to choose your language. All right, so you can do the pre-installation check where you click on here and it tells you if everything is okay, but I've already done that and it says it's fine. So let's go to the installation of Backup Exec. Now make sure you choose the top option here, not the agent. We want Backup Exec the program. Go ahead and click on Install. And this usually takes a few minutes, so we'll fast forward during those parts. All right, let's go ahead and accept the terms. Choose next. And we want to install backup exec software and options because this is a local installation. And it's doing its pre check. So you can see a lot of different things going on here. All right, now if you're doing an upgrade from an older version, make sure you're on uh, SQL 2005 SP4 or newer. If you have anything older than SP4, it will not work. So it will not tell you it won't work until after you try to install it. So anyway, it's, we've got a few warnings here, but nothing important. So we'll just go ahead and click Next. All right, I've already, already gone ahead and installed the licenses from the uh, uh, installation from the, um, in the files that I got previously. So we'll just go ahead and click Next. And this is the licenses that we had purchased. If you don't have your license, you can click Next. It'll give you a, a, a trial. All right, so you've got a lot of different options here. If you want, you can make sure that you've got the uh, virtual license, which I wanted to have because we're going to be uh, backing up virtual machines. And uh, by default, these other options are not checked, and they probably shouldn't be uh, unless you have a license for them. So just go ahead and click Next. English is our language, so Next. All right, now we'll go ahead and put in the password. Okay, we'll choose the default program files, and we'll say we have read the uh, various different things we acknowledge, and we're going to go ahead and put it in the default location, and install. Make sure you do install this on a Windows 2008 or 2012 64-bit server. It will not install properly on anything else. Yeah, we're making pretty good progress. It's moving on down the line. Should be just a few more minutes. And your time will vary based on your resources, of course. All right, during this upgrade, uh, keep in mind that your agents will be also upgraded on your servers. And if you uh, do this during production hours, it's possible your servers might reboot. So you may want to do this after hours. Okay, it says everything was updated before can, uh, continuing to re uh, review the following information. And it's just saying, hey, this is a new interface, so you're going to have to get used to that. So here, now, here comes the SQL Express installation. Once again, make sure you're on at least 2005 Service Pack 4 or newer. All right, well, it took about 15 minutes, but we finally got it done. The backup installation was complete. It's asking us to run a live update, which I agree with doing. Uncheck the README box unless you want to read all about it. And you can skip the survey. Let's go ahead and skip that. Okay, let's run some live updates. Apparently everything's up to date. Okay, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and launch Backup Exec 15 for the first time. All right, double-click on that. Says the V-Ray edition for uh, Hyper-V. Although it looks the same as the other one, I'm sure. All right, it's recommending that we uh, uh, export our database encryption key, which we'll do another time. And we've not created a disaster recovery disk, but that's okay. Let's take a look and see. Yep, there's our jobs. They are still there. That's good news. Everything uh, updated just fine. 
let's go ahead and click on our backup and restore that looks good there's all our servers so everything seems to have backed up uh, just fine so that is our uh, backup 15 upgrade from uh, this was backup exec 2010 but it should also work from 2012 and 2000